Welcome to Valentina Design Universe. This is the place where we can meet with people that are very inspirational to us, or people who have done something special in their lives or live an extraordinary life. Um, the, um, <clears throat> in this world of globalization where everybody has to be the same, everybody has to think the same, wear the same clothes, speak the same words, I can still find someone who does things the different way. Someone who goes up the stream and show us how to be different. Actually, I have a guest here who is the owner of, her name first of all is Kathy Winkelman and is the owner of Gioia Company Italian Arts and Imports. She has a very different model, business model, that I would like you to learn about. And I think because her model is so different, I think she should be teaching it in business schools. So let's welcome Kathy Winkelman. Kathy, hi, welcome to yeah. Valentine. Hello, um, happy to be here with you. Very happy. I'm so happy you're here. So tell us, what is that you do so special? You're, you, you import uh, products from Italy, but tell the audience why your business model is, I think, is so special. Well, I came from a large Italian-American family, grew up with the culture, uh, lived in Rome for one year, studied the language and art history. And at that time, I made the business plan that I would work together with the Italian people at some point in my life. And so 14 years ago, we started Gioia Italian Art and Products to bring joy through the arts, handmade arts of Italy. So I contacted the people that I knew at that time. I had stayed in contact with them since I had lived there. And I said, would you like to sell your things through me in California? We're here in Silicon Valley. But the difference in the way that I sell is very personal. I created an Italian experience here in my home. I wanted it to be in my home so that I could use my kitchen, La Cucina Italiana, and for me and fun for them. That's, uh, that's very, very, very different because um, people who come to buy things from you, um, they don't just come to buy things. You don't just sell because you want to get rid of your stock, right? You sell from the heart. You sell with the soul. And you want people to be together in your space, which is your personal space. And uh, you want people to socialize. You want them to find new friend, to meet new friend, and, um, you know, maybe start new business with, with each other, right? That's true. Uh, when we have our monthly open house uh, luncheon event, we've had cousins run into each other that hadn't seen each other for quite a while, or people reunite that knew each other. I mean, our commonality is our love for Italian art, Italian cuisine, Italian culture, but not everyone that comes is Italian. We welcome anybody that loves this art. It's handmade, one of a kind, very different. Uh, it goes with the soul of the artists themselves. And I just love them and I'm grateful to them. So we also can, you know, offer some people personal uh, designs in the types of ceramics that they want. We decorate the table with linens and flatware. And, uh, you know, it's a joyful experience. Uh, and joy does mean joy. So we've been in business 14 yeah. years with Amazon out there. So we must be doing something okay. And I, that I think is paying attention to our local clients as well as the nationwide clientele, which 
we usually speak on the phone and get to know each other and enjoy knowing each other. And then I send them, I ship them what they're interested in. That's what makes you so special, I would say, because as I said before, it's not just about, about buying your products. It's about getting social and show some loyalty to you, to um, a person that really makes um, other people feel good, feel mm -hmm. like they belong in your business, like you care for them. And uh, that that's what is so special. I think that uh, when we go to a, a business, when we deal with a business, um, what I think you ask people, do you like that business? You said, yes. Did you, did the customer, uh, custom service was good? Yeah, it was good. And did you have a good experience? Yeah, it was a good experience. But that's a satisfied client. But a, a real satisfied and extraordinary client, it's a different person. It's a person that goes above and behind uh, anything that has experience with that business and will tell other people, will refer other clients. That is when you do, you as a business owner, do something extraordinary, right? And in fact, right. what do you do? Yeah. You prepare lunch, uh, you prepare lunch for uh, those people, uh, you prepare um, drinks, and you make them, uh, they sit in your, in your um, um, backyard, mm -hmm. they sit in your living room. Mm -hmm. So it's all about um, what you do to your clients and how good you make them feel. Thank right? you. It's old world Italian hospitality, the way I was brought up. And uh, the customer is the most important. And I've tried a lot of ways of advertising, but my best advertising is done by my clients. So I invest that part of my budget right back into my clients. Often when they come, I have little gifts from the artist to introduce them to that particular type of art. I have done several requests for a large number of gifts by companies that are personalized for them. We also can order uh, personal colors, styles, designs in ceramics. So I, I like that. I like being able, and we'll always try to get what these people are looking for. And in so, fact, just yesterday, I read this piece of article that says advertising it's only the price you pay for not being extraordinary. You do not need to advertise because you do it so Thank you. well Thank on you. yourself, on um, by yourself, and the way you think people should be treated. That is not enough. Is not necessary for you to advertise. It was so funny. I read this article yes just yesterday, and it just came right at the right time because I knew I was going to interview you. So this is just when people are extraordinary in their business, that's what they do. They go uh, way behind their products and, um, and really satisfy the client. I remember when I, you know, I lived in Italy, I remember the way I was treated by the, uh, um, by the uh, store, shop owner. So it was um, different. They greeted me with uh, um, a coffee, cup of coffee. They greeted me by first names. They knew exactly what I wanted. And guess what? They bought the merchandise with me in mind, and not just me, just the clients that they liked. They bought their merchandise for their clients. Nowadays, yeah. I have this experience that I go into a store, nobody knows who I am. Uh, they don't care if I buy or not. Often they don't even greet me with anything, that good morning or good night or hello or thank you for coming. And it's like it feels very awkward to spend money at a place that don't care who you are.
Right. So your business is so very special to um, to all of us and very special to the people who come in close contact with you because you are the special person. Thank you. Make and you are a special person. Oh, thank you. But you're better. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we are soul soulmates because we care a lot about the culture of Italy and we share you know, joy. And it's joy for those who give as well as those who receive. So that sometimes is, yeah. on the giving end, I'm in there with my apron and putting the lunch together, but it's a joyful thing for me. I mean, I spend time uh, spiritually with my mom who passed away a long time ago, but that's where I learned to cook and my grandmothers. And it's a joyful experience for me to, to recall that as we cook. And plus yes. I sell all these things to serve food in. So it's nice for people to see an example. Yeah, that's what you also teach, that it's not just uh, any pottery, any dish. You show them how to do it, how to serve things. You give suggestion that this color or that color is better for this food or that food. And, uh, you know, when we, um, when we eat, the experience of eating it starts with the eyes. I know it's a cliche, you know, we eat with the eyes first, yeah. but the eyes want to see something beautiful. Otherwise, you know, we don't feel like food, I uh, want to put food in our mouth, you know? Sure. It just, yeah. That's and the way it is. That's because some people love blues, some greens, some whites. So it's really fun for us. We've done wedding registries for young people. Uh, one is red with sunflowers everywhere. Another is very white, but a lot of the. Twisted, wonderful business and everybody is very unique. So I've had people come into the showroom here and say, I feel such positive energy here because it's so beautiful. So I believe firmly that when an artist loves what they do, the energy goes with their art. So I Absolutely. don't, I don't yeah. care how long a piece is here. It's meant for someone special. And I just am very happy to keep it near me. Yeah. And when it, when it has a match, then it moves on to someone else. Plus I really like to keep the prices low, which is why mm -hmm. the showroom is here. I also open by appointment and we have the website. So there's a lot of ways to access uh, what Joya is here for. Uh, but it's it's really available to people who have been to Italy, maybe not had time to buy that olive oil container or didn't want to ship it because it was too expensive. And oftentimes we could save them some money by when they get home, call me and see if we can get it for you. <laughs> yeah. And that's, uh, you know, that's why you you want to you, you treat your client so special because you go behind your duty of selling. That's the way I see it. I think you really should teach it to uh, business people. I really think so. Because it's not easy. It's not, uh, I want to say it's easy. It's not common to sell like you do. And so that's uh, a plus for you that you've been able to, ha to have a business for what 14 years now and yeah. uh, and you know and more people are coming it's only yeah, because we survived you are the great recession we yeah. survived this yeah. uh, growth of major growth of amazon we have our own little niche that we fit into for people and uh recently i met with a um a senior member of cisco who was really interested in what we were doing here. And he said, oh, gee, you have a, an Italian chamber of commerce. And so when I thought about that, that's how I do business. I partner. Mm -hmm. You know, way, way back in the day, you didn't want to, you just wanted to run your own show, so to speak. But for me, the joy has been in partnering. Somebody who's experienced in design, like yourself, for instance, 
or you know uh, the the mask maker teaching mask making classes or whatever I can find that I think is interesting. I'm sure somebody else is going to be interested, and so I get to have the experience too. It's just a lot of fun. Yes, yes. I agree, I, and it's uh, the important thing is when you have a business to have fun as well. That's uh, the way I see it. Have fun and meet as many good <laughs> people that you want to serve because we definitely don't work for jerks. And uh, the more nice people you can call to you, the uh, better it is um, for the business and for ourselves. So we can you know, produce better things. So what is your um, what is your plan for the next few years? Well, Joya has uh, she she's my daughter. I have three sons. Mm -hmm. So creating this business also allowed me to continue my activities socially and um, meet new people myself, meet a lot of artists, stay in the industry. But I find more and more that people are looking for a particular thing. So I don't have to have a, a stock my store myself. So I'd say the last four or five years, our clients, I, mm -hmm. when they order particular something like an antipastiera, I mm -hmm. buy more than one. So that is who is my buyer are my clients. When you come in here, there's not a thing in here that someone hasn't wanted at least once. And so that makes a big difference for me. So Joya is now 14 years old. If you think about your own child at 14, they're getting quite independent. So I listen mm -hmm. more to what the business wants to do, where what people want from this business. So more of a personalization is where we're going. So I just, I'm helping right now, uh, the president of the Sons and Daughters of Sicily. She's mm -hmm. a nationwide president. So I'm very excited about that. We've had, I've just had a wonderful journey and I do a lot of listening, listening to what is the wishes of the people that I'm trying to service. That's the only way to do, uh, or to have a good business. That's the only way you listen, and you give it to them. They, you give what they want. That's the only way. <clears throat> and, um, and selling the way you do from the heart is so much more special. That's what I can say. So. Thank you from my heart. Yeah, true, true. <laughs> so um, at the moment, I think we are, uh, your website has been uh, showing. So. If people want to go visit you, they can and go on your website. And uh, so for right now, we are uh, coming to a close of this show. It was a pleasure to have you, uh, Kathy. Thank you. And um, thanks for all the viewers that we've had that they're watching uh, the show. And if you have a replay or if you watch the replay later, please let us know if you're playing uh, the video live or replay. And um, for right now, I'm just going to close with a um, peace, love to everyone. Enjoy it. <clears throat> joy for joy. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs>